The gentleman before me spoke a little bit, I heard you talking about Social Security. We've got to go after entitlements because they're out of control. And I don't think anybody is entitled to anything. Everything is on the table. Social Security doesn't work. We have to acknowledge that. You know, Bernie Madoff is in jail. He's in jail because he tried to pull off a Ponzi scheme. And Ponzi schemes don't work. They don't work if private individuals do them, and they don't work when the government does it. The problem is Social Security is nothing but a giant Ponzi scheme. It's lasted for a long time because the government forces people to participate. Bernie Madoff couldn't do that. But the reality is that Social Security right now is already paying out more in benefits than it collects in taxes. So it's already at the point where Bernie Madoff went bust. We're there right now. So there is a giant ticking time bomb in Social Security, and we need to address it and acknowledge the fact that the system as it exists does not work. And if we don't make real meaningful cuts in that program right now, no one's going to get any Social Security benefits because the money's going to have no value. People are going to get their checks, but they're not going to buy anything with them because we will destroy the value of the currency in the process. I really was jumping at the opportunity to write about to, to write an introduction for Keynes. Um, I guess I've I've tried to bring a little bit of what Keynes did into the modern world. This kind of economics that is both intellectually innovative and trying to change the world for the better. But nobody can be like Keynes, and no book can be like the general theory. It's probably even more than Adam Smith. I would say the most important book in the history of economics. Hopefully. One of the positive things that's going to come out of this global fiasco is that it will put an end to Keynesianism once and for all, that we can take every single economic textbook that references this man or any of his ideas and burn them and put them in the trash can of history where they belong. And right. What risks in life do you want to assume? Do you want to take your chances that the Keynesians are right, that the inflationists are right, that the socialists and the Marxists and the central planners are right? If that's what you want to put your faith in, then hold on to U.S. dollars. But if you want to put your faith in the free markets and capitalism, if you believe in, in the principles of Adam Smith, if you believe in the founding fathers and what made this country great, then you need to get out of dollars. You need to get out of them right now. Website. I mean, you can read all the Austrians. I mean, everybody should read Henry Hazlitt's book, Economics in One Lesson. You know, uh, you, know you, you should read my father's book, The Biggest Con, if you can get a copy of it. But there's some good books that I, that I, that I recommend from the Austrian school, Economics, you know, from uh, Murray Rothbard, uh, von Mises, from Hyatt, Batiste. I mean, there are a lot of other writers who wrote about real economics, and if you understand, then you'll understand how an economy works. Unfortunately, all the modern-day economists who work in government, who work on Wall Street, uh, follow Keynes, Keynesianism, and, 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 and what they know is nonsense. And, you know, they're almost like, I've looked at it like Keynesianism is like being a witch doctor, you know, in medicine. And, and so they're, here they are, the country is sick, and what, they're sprinkling some dust on it. They got like little tutu beads in there. You know, nothing's going to help. 